all the world. What holds dear is but a backdrop of constant mo- Paimon has so many questions about his true identity. Let's go talk to him and find out. to keep an eye on the deployment of guards at all times. I have to keep an eye on the deployment of guards at all times. Did, uh, did I hear that right? Monsieur Nirvalet, are you sure you'd like to take over the case yourself? Oh, That's not right. another detective case. No, but why? Technically speaking, cases like this are better left to the guards. Nirvalet, Sadine, hey there! What are you two the talking guards. about? Ugh, the guards! The guards need Paimon, to have a job. Please help me talk our Chief Justice out of this. He wants to investigate a case on his own. This is completely unprecedented. How can we have the Udex acting like a private detective? 
Somebody's back. Neighbor's back home. <sighs> so somebody thinks I'm going to lose my 50-50. <laughs> Who could that be? Somebody that doesn't have much to say normally. Thank you for your concern, but I currently have no such plans. So, Kyle, you think I'm going to lose my 50 50? Oh, really? Apologies. I took your question in earnest, but it now occurs to me that it was most likely in jest. So, what is it exactly? It sure sounds serious if it's something you've got to investigate personally. A Melusine named Kiara received a threat letter. And then? That is all the information I have acquired at this stage. So you don't know how a 50-50 works? Okay. Well, every time you have a banner of a character... The first five-star character can take up to, like, 90 wishes... And there's a 50-50 chance that you'll either get the character on the banner or you get another random five-star character from the list. So if you lose your 50-50, you get a random five-star character that you may not want. It's usually not a good one. And then it, it takes up, up to another 90 wishes to get him. Then you're guaranteed. After you lose the 50-50, you're guaranteed to get him on the next rotation. So basically, when you lose a 50-50, it could end up costing you 180 wishes. Instead of just 90. So that's how a 50-50 works. I have no idea why you're so hung up over this. Well, usually most people get it around it soft seems pity. Like there aren't any trials today. Which so is about 70 insist, wishes. I have no objections. Thank you for understanding. Then I shall return to my post for now. Should anyone visit while you are away, I will be sure to make a record of it. I sincerely hope that you will return soon. Judging from Sadine's reaction, it must be pretty rare for you to investigate stuff personally. What's so special about this case? I cannot tell you just yet, but it reminded me of certain past events. There could be complicated conflicts of interest behind all this, so I must eliminate all risks in advance. Come on, stop being so secretive! We still have no idea what's going on! It is not my intention to keep you in the dark, but I need some time to revisit those memories and collect my thoughts. Long story short, a little more than 400 years ago I became the Udex of Fontaine and initiated a series of institutional reforms. There were few people I could trust, but I had two subordinates who were exceptionally trustworthy and capable. Carol, a Melusine, and Vautrin, leader of the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol. They must have been amazing people to receive such high praise from you! Indeed. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to protect them. The reforms damaged the interests of some, and the more conservative faction took advantage of Carol's identity to instigate political unrest. Ultimately, 
They wanted me to yield more of my power. The incident resulted in Carol taking her own life and Votran being exiled. From then on, I've been especially careful when dealing with cases related to Melusines. That's harsh. All Melusines used to live a secluded life away from human society. I granted their wishes when some of them, including Carol, asked me to bring them to the court of Fontaine. Many common folk believe that I share a special bond with the Melusines, and whatever they do can be traced back to me. Some of them, especially those who hold a grudge against me, exploit that belief and stir up conflict over Melusines in an attempt to lay the blame on me. That's I have nothing good. against the opinions of others, but the moment a whirlpool of conspiracy forms, it inevitably affects the innocent. It has already happened once, and I want to make sure it does not happen again. Um, he doesn't really even need so, ER, why do you really? have to be the one investigating? Because he can alternate between his skill and There's his burst to Amari generate the blue balls. And the special so. security and surveillance patrol. Aren't they more than enough to figure out what's going on? Based on prior experience, there is a high chance that those who hold hostility towards me do not belong to the same department. The political system of Fontaine is relatively complex and involves the interests of multiple different factions. However, since I am technically an outsider in Fontaine, a lot of trouble could be avoided if I personally took on the case. Outsider? But aren't you the Chief Justice of Fontaine? Why would you be an I'll outsider? do my polls after this uh, story that I'm doing with Nouvellet, because I really I need to hear where you are coming from. But there is not necessarily a connection between my responsibilities. You know very well about my true identity, and have even met others of my kind in other nations. Even though I was born with a human form, there is a fundamental difference between dragons and humans. Taking on the role of Chief Justice does not make me a part of this community. In fact, the status I was granted has prevented me from forming deeper bonds with others. I have lived in Fontaine for a long time, but I do not belong here. That is why I call myself an outsider. A fish out of water. Oh, I have a cat that's coming to sit on daddy's lap. There you go, kitty. Yeah, we have nothing to do with all those organizations anyway. So how about we come with you on your investigation? Let's team up and round up all the bad guys lurking in the dark. Hmm, that does not sound like a bad idea. I rarely investigate cases on my own, but with professionals like you around, I'm sure it will go a lot smoother. <laughs> I'm on starting to get a little embarrassed. Just leave it to us. <laughs> Just leave it to us. Let us go. We should visit Kiara first and try to gain a better understanding of the situation. Kiara. I don't think that's the um, same person. So Nuvalet feels like he doesn't truly belong here in Fontaine, but is that really true? Paimon feels like he has a kind of skewed perspective on a lot of things. Anyway, let's catch up with him first. Paimon's been thinking. But since you're the Hydro Dragon, would a dragon out of water suit you better? Thank you for your suggestion. I will consider using the more accurate term in private occasions. Please allow me to rephrase. Has a dragon out of water? Ugh. That sounds kind of weird. Let's stick with the previous version instead. I don't think it's above ground, but I could be mistaken. Oh, but it is above ground. Okay. I never 
thought I'd see him here. <sighs> the weather's amazing today. Kiara. Huh? Monsieur Nouvellet! And you are? Oh, I remember! You're the Traveler and Paimon! I've heard about you. Aww, she's adorable! <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. I heard from Sedine that you received a, th a threatening letter. The letter fell through the crack in my door as I was, but Sedine told me it was a threatening. Have you run into any sus suspicious looking people? What counts as suspicious? Ah! Oh, did you think of something? Nope. I don't remember. Do you still have the letter with you? Oh, uh, let's see. Found it. Can't read nothing. Now then, <clears throat> get lost. If you don't leave the Mare Chaussee Phantom, I will come and catch you in person. Don't say I didn't warn you. Hmm, a simple threat. Neither the handwriting nor the content itself reveals anything about the writer's intentions. We can't rule out that possibility. Since you can't think of anyone suspicious, I will be heading back to the Palais Memonia to review some official documents. Kiara, you should come with us. It's safer if you stay close by. Sure! Uh, wait, no, no, no. I, I still have a case to work But you are being watched right now. And that's where we come in to help. We'll stay with Kiara and with that's around anyone's... Thank you, Traveler. Big sis Paimon. Uh... Oh. All right. Let us go off. We'll take you to a lost place right away. So, Kiara, how old are you? Hmm, let me think. One, two, ten? Uh, I can't remember. But I remember coming to the Court of Fontaine with Carolyn Nouvellet. That must have been a long time ago. Carol? Did Nouvellet mention her just now? That was more than 400 years ago! Why would Paimon be a big sister to you? My memory isn't that good. But Carol told me I could address others based on how I feel about them. Paimon feels a lot more grown up than me, so you're a big sis. Huh. Paimon sees. Uh, hey, Traveler, did you hear that? Somebody's taking pictures. Strange. Paimon felt like someone was following us. Hey, laugh! Kiara, you're here. Huh? Wait, aren't these two... They're the Traveler and Big... I thought so. What brings you here? All right. Guess I shouldn't have asked. May I begin inspecting the store as planned? Of course. Go ahead. Hmm. No hazards detected. You've cleared the inspection. Seems like the criminal from that case last month never set foot in here at all. That was quick. What were you inspecting? I took a look around the shop. Navilette says that us Malazines have special eyes that can see things people can't. Things like bloodstains. No matter how hard you try to clean them up, we Malazines can see their residual stains for some time. Pretty cool, huh? All right, all right. Now that you're done inspecting, can we have a chat? Hear me out. I'm planning to release an outfit for children next month and wanted to hire you as my model. Is that okay with you? Of course! Is there anything I need to do? Please wait a moment while I take your measurements. This sample should be a perfect fit. Seems like they get along really well. Huh? What are you looking at? Is there really someone watching us? Shh! Let's sneak over and take a look.
Strange. Why isn't he back yet? Gotcha! Charlotte, what are you doing here? Oh, wait, don't tell Paimon you're the one who sent Kiara that threatening letter. But you don't seem like the type Soft to... pity, hard pity. Letter. <laughs> the votes are what all over the place. Letter. Uh, this is starting to feel like an interrogation. Okay, I'll be straight with you. I don't know the slightest thing about that threat letter you mentioned. I only wanted to follow Monsieur Nouvellet and request an interview with him. You want to interview him? That's right. I'm not the only one, you know. Interviewing him is ev- But it's not an easy task to accomplish. The Palais Mermonia rarely accepts appointment requests from us, and we never have the chance to interrupt when the court's in session. So imagine how surprised I was seeing him out on the streets today. It seemed like you were investigating something, too. The perfect opportunity to whip up an exclusive, don't you think? Of course, I'll make sure to turn in my manuscript to him for review. I have my principles, and I'd never publish an article without the consent of all parties involved. Yeah, we're doing a secret investigation that can't be made public now, like... I see. Well, if you say so, I guess I'll put this matter aside for now. Oh, what a shame. Chances like this don't come by very often, you know. In exchange, could you tell me what the threat letter is about? I swear I won't tell. All right, then. What? Someone's targeting a cute... Shh, not so loud. It just so happens that I did an interview with Kiara. Last month, in fact. It was well received by our readers, so I was planning to continue the series. And now someone's coming after her. I'll ask my colleagues about it. Who knows? We might find something. And don't worry. I know what I'm doing. This secret's safe with me. But I gotta warn you. Even if I keep my lips sealed, others will know eventually. Why? People care a great deal about Monsieur Nouvellet's each and every move. Some may have already realized that something was up. Besides, the case involves melazines. So, anyway, I'll get going now. So it's actually a Watch trap for Nouvellet. Right. Well, that was a nice chat. Ooh, what do you think? Serene. The design looks pretty good, huh? I think it's great! Huh. It's very pretty indeed. Koran! What are you doing here? It seems that you just showed up out of nowhere! As I passed by the Palais Mermonia, I heard that Nivellet was investigating a case with you. Technically speaking, he and I are under an employer-employee relationship. It didn't feel right to have my employer personally take on such trivial cases. I happen to have some time at the moment, and came to take a look. I sometimes have my clothes custom-made at this boutique, in any case, so we always have a lot to talk about. Ah, oh, Nervalette sure is lucky to have someone like you. Leave this to me. You should go meet up with Nervalette. Okay then, we'll leave Kiara in your hands. <sighs> Come on, let's go find Nervalette. Okay, so somebody says I'm going to soft pity, hard pity, and now two people are saying that I'll lose my 50 50. Okay. Well, maybe tonight's not a good night to pull. <laughs> Oh, you're back. I wish people would say Is hello before right? they voted, but whatever. We ran into Cloran. She offered to help us protect Kiara. That is good to hear. I trust her abilities. It looks like Kiara is in good hands. We thought so too. Well, did you find any leads? I've been looking over the case records. Specifically, inspection reports submitted by Kiara and major cases I've judged over the past decade. I've come up with two plans. 
On one hand, I could start with Kiara and track down the group behind all this step by step. On the other, I could also analyze the conflicting interests of these major cases and confirm my suspicions if there is indeed a mysterious group that bears a grudge against me. Hmm. They both sound like pretty solid plans, but can you really finish browsing through all these documents? That's a lot of reading, even for Paimon. Don't worry. I'm a fast reader when it comes to official documents. After all, I have several hundred years of reviewing under my belt. Well, if you read through them, we have nothing else to do. Thank you. Thank you. I will continue looking through the ones piled up on the desk, but feel free to browse through anything else in this room. Have you made any progress? We skipped through some of them, but there wasn't anything useful. Oh, there are so many documents left. I would love to answer that question, but the tr if memory serves me right, there Whoa. That's That might be how it seems from another's pers There are many documents here. <sighs> All right. Let us take a break then. Please pardon my lack of consideration. People rarely come to the Palais Memonia for matters outside of work. To be quite honest, I am not sure what we should do. Would you like to have some drinks, perhaps? You must be thirsty after all that work. Ooh, drinks! Thank you! Hmm. Paimon wonders what Novelette likes. He seems like the type of... An astute observation. It is indeed water. So it's just plain old water? What did you think it was? Um, since you're the Chief Justice and all, Paimon thought you'd prefer something more sophisticated. This water is indeed very special. It would not be an overstatement to call it sophisticated. Uh -huh. I believe you've already tried Fanta. In fact, there are many other drink factories in Fontaine, including those that specialize in packaging pure drinking water. Said water is sourced from all across Tibet, including Mondstadt's Cider Lake, Liyue's Chintsa Village, and Inazuma's Konda Village. Here is one of their latest products, water from Sumeru's Apam Woods. If I were to comment on their mouthfeel, hmm, the waters of Cider Lake warm the heart, the waters of Chintsa Village have a poignant touch, while one might call the waters of Konda Village uh, placid. Distinct differences exist between the waters of each area. You will appreciate their intricacies once you taste them carefully. What do you think? Uh, nope. Paimon couldn't 
taste any difference at all. Isn't this just normal water? <laughs> How regrettable. It seems like you still have a long way to go in refining your tastes. Hey, this doesn't have to do with refining our tastes. Pyro's pretty sure most ordinary people can't tell the difference. How did you do it anyway? Oh, could it be because you're the Hydro Dragon? Uh, we are allowed to bring that up, right? Since no one else is around? Oh, Paimon's been wanting to ask this for ages. If you're the Hydro Dragon, why would you become Chief Justice in human society? Hmm. Uh, sorry. Paimon was just curious. You don't have to answer. There's nothing to hide. I was simply organizing my thoughts. I accepted this position because I wanted to seek out answers to questions that have perplexed me. Questions? Are there really things you can't figure out? Many, in fact. But the one question that puzzles me the most concerns my own existence. In essence, I neither know why I was born in this form, nor do I understand where my long life should take me. For a long time, my memory was rather... Incomplete. With regard to the Primordial Sea, for example, I used to only be able to vaguely recall its connection to me, but I was unaware of what that connection was exactly. Perhaps the elemental dragons of other nations may have some form of an answer. However, they are scattered across all of Tevat. Abruptly visiting could very well pose an unpredictable risk. True. Some of them have very... unique personalities, too. I have been holding on to these unanswered questions for a long time. But there is one thing I've discovered along the way. My emotions easily resonate with those of others. Even I don't have the slightest idea what they mean. My guess would be that there are at least some similarities between humans and myself. By observing their behavior, perhaps I could one day understand the meaning of my existence. Hmm. Let's see. Have you made any progress then? Perhaps, but I find such progress difficult to describe. As an outsider, chances to engage in meaningful interactions with others are few and far between. That's why I'm quite thankful for this chat. Such opportunities are rare. <sighs> Alas, time is limited. We should move on with our investigation. Are we gonna continue reading these documents? Uh, Paimon's getting dizzy already. I wasn't able to find any leads even after browsing through most of the documents. But while we were on the topic of water a moment ago, another idea came to me. Water? Do you mean... That's right. That's right. The Fountain of Lucene is where all of Fontaine's waters converge. It is the vessel of countless memories and emotions. If there really were an organization attempting to use Melusines against me, they should also hold an intense resentment towards me. Perhaps we'll be able to find some new leads by sensing the hydro element within the fountain. Huh. Why didn't Paimon think of that? Come on, let's go take a look! Perhaps we should go. There shouldn't be too many people near the fountain of Lucene during the evening. Let's go to where we need to be.
Monsieur Nervillette? I probably shouldn't disturb them. Probably. Looks like we got lucky today. There's hardly anyone around. Uh, what should we do next? Oh, Traveler, can you still hear the voices from the fountain? Perhaps leave the investigation to me. I need you to take a few steps back and keep a safe distance. A safe <laughs> distance? No. Okay, so I can't sprint, and I can't jump. Uh, thank you for bringing us here, Monsieur Nouvellet. The Cour de Fontaine is truly incredible. There's so many things I've never seen or heard before. I understand your excitement, but there's no need to thank me. Although I have responded to your wishes, it was not without personal interest. Melusine's special sight make them especially suited for joining the Mare Chausse Phantom. I am certain you'll become an indispensable part of Fontaine's detective force. I know, but I'm really glad to be of help. Not only can I repay you for your kindness, but also, it feels like my life has become a lot more meaningful. But a meaningful life also comes with its risks. It's definitely the safest to just stay in the village. But I want to see the outside world nonetheless. In truth, I've never really understood the purpose of my existence. Or what I'm capable of contributing to this world. For almost 20 years, we've stayed in our village without finding any answers. That's why we wanted to leave our village and look for the meaning of our existence elsewhere. <laughs> I understand your confusion. In fact, I feel the same way. I too came here for an answer to my questions about my own existence. Really? Could you tell us what we should do to fit in as you did? The truth is, many people threw rocks at us today and told us to go back to our village. It hurt a lot when they hit me in the head. And I tried really hard not to cry. Logically speaking, both time and effort are essential when different species attempt to peacefully coexist. It will be a difficult road ahead, with countless obstacles to overcome. Different identities and ways of thinking all contribute to strengthening the barrier between one another. Removing it will be no easy feat. There aren't many suggestions I can share, because just like you, I haven't fully integrated into this society. Despite my social status, I am still an outsider. Oh, I see. Let's all do our best, then. I'm confident that we'll find the meaning of our existence one Scaramouche, day. hello. I believe in you, but you shouldn't lose sight of the difficulties ahead. How are you this ahead. evening? If you run into any trouble, I suggest that you inform Vautran, the captain of the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol. Huh? Is he the person I met in the Palais Marmonia earlier? Yes. Do you have any concerns? That stone-faced human. He didn't even bother to look at me when I tried talking to him. It felt like he wasn't interested in anything but work. He is an earnest man. There will be plenty of opportunities to work together in the future, so please... Okay, so we're taking a trip down memory lane. Hello, can I help with 
with anything. Thanks, but no need. Oh. They never did answer, Scaramouche. How are you this evening? I'm good. Hello, I'm Carol. I'm Melazine. Is there anything you need help with? Get away from here. I'm calling the guards. Please, calm down. I don't mean to cause any harm. Hmm, hard to say. Yeah, we should probably stay away from these monsters. Haven't you realized? Strange incidents have been increasing ever since they came. Why should we trust this species from who knows where anyway? I can't believe Nervilat allowed them into the court of Fontaine just like that. Exactly. That so-called Chief Justice even granted them official positions. Not only that, but they're now responsible for investigating cases as well. I swear, there's some hidden agenda at play here. Go away! Quit acting innocent! Mandy RVN, hello. About him. We joined the Mari Show safe How are you this evening? In lots of cases. We've never done anything wrong. Solving cases? With Nervilet in cahoots with you. You could have fabricated it all, and no one would know. So tell me, how can you guarantee that you Melazines aren't involved in anything that occurred recently? Uh, I... Didn't I tell you before? Don't go advertising if you're not a good talker. Oh, Tran? <laughs> Aside from spreading unjustified rumors, if you continue insulting members of the Mare Chaussee Phantom, the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol has every right to subject you to interrogation. There have indeed been an increase in cases recently, perhaps due to the shifting currents of conspiracy, and I understand your concern. However, there's been no evidence pointing towards Melazines being involved. <laughs> Even the captain of the Security Patrol is on their side. Nervilet's newly reformed police force is already corrupt to the core. How can two completely different species possibly coexist? I love you, my brother. Why do you say that? You heard that? <laughs> yeah. That's kind of weird. Why won't anyone believe us? There have been rumors saying that you were born from calamity and that you inherently bring danger to those around you. There are countless negative rumors about you floating around in Fontaine. It's near impossible for you to become a part of this society. Best if you give up before it's too late. Monsieur Nervalet said that we needed to put both time and effort in. I don't know how long it'll take, but I can at least try making my best effort. I still want to try a little harder. Thank you for bailing me out earlier. <sighs> okay, I won't be taking any more of your time. I painted a lot of flyers last night, so I have to stay and hand them out to everyone. Give them to me. You're, you're not gonna take them away, right? We'll hand them out together. The faster we get this done, the sooner we can head back. I wish I could sprint. I can't even sprint in this memory. Monsieur Nevelet, what's this? Medals of Peace. I don't know much Awarded English. I'm Iranian. Okay. Thank you for your continued dedication in the past five years. You've taken one small step forward in helping Melusines gain the trust of humans. I think I'll pass. Uh, have you been playing this game for very long? Don't keep your hopes up. We've barely scratched the surface. There's still a long way to go before that dream of yours comes true. Ugh, you blockhead! Don't ruin the mood! Mm -hmm. Botran brings up a good point. The trust humans have placed in you is still very fragile. Any small incident could undermine the hard work you've put in. 
Please be on your guard for the next few days. Yes, sir. Okay, got it. And apparently I do some more walking. Medal of Peace? <laughs> peace isn't going to give us back what's rightfully ours. Are you sure we should do this? We're no match for Nervalette, even with all our powers combined. What if... Nah, not gonna happen. As long as he remains in his position, there's no chance he'd take us out personally. There are rules even he must comply with in the political sphere. Unless he wants to become an enemy of Fontaine. So quit worrying and just go ahead with it. I've already planned out the murder. Once we lay the blame on the Melazines as the person who brought them to the court of Fontaine, Nervy Lett will be left with no excuse. I guess you're right. Ugh. If he just left things the way they were, I just installed it, never it to this. and I am level 25. Cool. Time to Are you on the uh, North American server? Because you can play with people, you know. Turn the murderer in! Melazines can't be trusted! That goes for Nervalette, too! Yeah, it is a very cool game. Peaceful coexistence? What a joke. Get out of the court of Fontaine and don't ever come back! Oh, you're in Europe, okay. The results of the investigation are in, Captain Voltron. Go on. There yeah, there's no quite a evidence, few European players that usually watch that my the stream. The ones controlling the situation are supporters of the old regime, whose interests have been undermined by the reform. They tricked Miss Carroll into going to the crime scene and pressed charges against her. After that, they incited panic among the people in order to make Monsieur Nervillette confess to his mistakes and yield up power. The guards were stopped by the enraged mob and couldn't intervene in time. Miss Carol chose to sacrifice herself to pacify the situation. And she called me a blockhead. A little investigation would have cleared things up. Why didn't she wait until we'd established the truth? She didn't have to prove her innocence like that. The situation had rapidly escalated to a physical altercation between infuriated citizens and the guards. Miss Carol might have thought there was no better plan. That is indeed something she'd do. Captain Voltra, should I present these results to Monsieur Nervillet right away? There's no need. Notify the guards to restrict public access to all information. Restrict access to... Wait, are you planning to... There's something I've never told Carol. I had a little sister named Delaria who passed away when I was very young. She's just like Carol in every possible way. Innocent, kind, always believing the best of people. People like her are the most vulnerable to deception and betrayal. From the moment I met Carol, I knew that she'd be easily manipulated by others. I kept a cold demeanor and tried lecturing her into giving up. Looks like she was unfazed by that. Yes. In fact, some of her spirit must have rubbed off on me instead. Because I too began working towards that pie-in-the-sky dream of hers. I should have known. Those cowards don't have the guts to confront New Villette. They even avoided causing trouble for me. They were after Carol all along. Can you understand how I feel? Right now, there's only one thought on my mind. Only through bloodshed can their debt be repaid. I understand, but I'm certain Monsieur Nervalette wouldn't accept that as a solution. That's exactly why we need to keep this a secret. Give me the list of suspects. What happens after this? Has nothing to do with any of you. I will take responsibility for everything. 
Okay. Things are going to get rough. Enter the Opera House. Da, da, da. Today, and the criminal is Captain Voltran of the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol. Apparently, he resorted to personal measures to seek revenge for Carol and settled the score with the group that framed his friend. <sighs> hey, why aren't you saying anything? I'm thinking... We should try our best to bail him out when the trial commences. Bail him out? Why? Shh, keep it down! Haven't you realized? Both Votran and Carol are Nervilet's most trusted subordinates. After everything that happened to Carol, Nervilet's guaranteed to do everything he can to keep Votran around. Besides, now that the old regime has been uprooted, Nervilet's status is secure as can be. As long as we redirect public opinion, Nervilet will be able to give Votran a reprieve. The benefits are endless. Votran sought vengeance for his friend for a valid cause. This represents the justice he upholds. Please think about it. If the same thing had happened to you, wouldn't you feel the same way he did? Yeah, that's right. This whole thing started because of those despicable cowards who levied false accusations against Carol. How could Votran be declared guilty for seeking revenge? Monsieur Nouvellet. Mr. Voltra is innocent! He's innocent. innocent! Order! I acknowledge your arguments. Voltran, your revenge could be seen as a form of justice. I understand what? your decision. Which is why I cannot help but feel regret and even grief about the judgment I must now impose. Personal yep. justice does not equate to justice as defined by the law. To execute your plan for revenge, you abused your authority and conducted informal executions. Your actions have thus violated the law. Therefore, you will be declared guilty. What? Yep. That can't be. Monsieur Nervilet, please give this a little more thought. He has done so much for Fontaine. Votran, my friend, is there anything else you want to say? Nivillette, what have I done to deserve this? I've closely followed every one of your orders. Can't you see? Everyone in this room believes that I'm innocent. Why can't you just let me off? Is this what justice means to you? Answer me, Nivillette! Order. Since there have been no further objections, the Oratrice will now deliver the final verdict regarding the charges against Mr. Votran. According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal, Mr. Votran will be declared guilty. Goodbye, Monsieur Nivellet. Goodbye. This all happened because oh. of Carol's naive ideas. How can different species peacefully coexist anyway? It's so sad. Apologies, it seems like my memories got the better of me. I tried my best to suppress the power of Hydro within myself, but it seems like it still caused the emotions within the Fountain of Lucene to boil over due to my negligence. The overflow of emotions and memories must have affected you as well. Are you all right? Wow, the Hydro Dragon is more powerful than Paimon thought. Anyways, the last time we came here, the Traveler only 
I heard voices from the Fountain of Lucene. No emotions boiling over or anything. It is as you said. This might be because I am different. It is not only the fountain. I can sense emotions from all waters in Fontaine. Rivers, lakes, and even the rain. That sounds awesome! But I rarely ever do anything like this. Emotions carried by water are always chaotic and disconnected. As an outsider, having my mind occupied with irrelevant memories isn't exactly a pleasant experience. Which ones? <laughs> it's fine. I prefer not to speak of those memories. That does not mean I am deliberately hiding them. It was a coincidence, but perhaps it is a good thing that you saw everything in that form. You should now understand why I believe there to be a conspiracy behind all this. These two cases are much too similar. I felt like I needed to do something. Uh, Paimon starting to lose track of what you're saying. Don't leave Paimon out of the conversation. She always loses track of everything. She is then so let annoying. Us get back to the point. While I was investigating the fountain, I Why discovered something strange. Why can't Paimon receive death threats? I did not and sense too much hatred do towards something. me within its cumulative Why was it Paimon put on trial? I don't know what caused this to happen, but. It seems like there won't be a shortcut to finding the organization that may be pulling the strings here. However, I did find some resentment directed towards Kiara. If I remember correctly, it seemed to be related to a smuggling case. Oh! Did yep, we read saw that. that. In one of the documents? And the bride. You've read about it. In that case, the resentment should have come from that incident. Huh? What are you doing here? I was just about to look for you at the Palais Mermonia. Navia! Nice to see you again! Is there something we can help with? I've heard some things. But I'm not purposely asking around or anything. Don't worry. Rumors are abroad that someone's scheming against Melusines, and that you're investigating the case. So I told the Spina di Rosula to keep an eye out for leads. We've had unfamiliar faces showing themselves at the Fleur Sandra lately. Maybe you'll find the suspects among them. Thank you. Where did you hear about all this? The Chief Justice out on investigation, accompanied by the Traveler from afar. No matter how you conceal your whereabouts, there will be countless eyes watching you. You talked to Kiara, but didn't ask her to keep things secret. People curious to know asked around for information, then it was only a matter of time before word of the threatening letter spread all across Fontaine. So that's what Charlotte meant. Indeed. I did not expect that this could be kept hidden for too long, but the rumors still spread faster than I imagined. Hmm. You know, it could be because you attract more attention than you think. Anyway, any progress with the investigation? The suspects who threatened Kiara might have to do with a certain smuggling case, but it is still uncertain if there is in fact another party behind all this. We are planning to return to the Palais Mormonia to revisit some details and identify the senders of that threatening letter. All right, then I'll round up the Spina di Rosula and follow up on their progress. Wait for my word. Ta-ta! Ta-ta! Uh, Nevelette, do you think there'll be any problems now that the word is out? I have already considered that possibility, and I do not think that there will be any. As a matter what is more important is how the case is perceived by the public. 400 years ago, they chose to side with the old regime and direct their resentment towards the Melusines. I hope the same won't happen again. Let us head back to the Palais. Strange. What are these people doing out on the streets so late at night? Did something happen? Let's take a look around. Yeah, there was nobody two minutes earlier. Heard? Someone's plotting against a melazine. This is 100% the truth. Even the Chief Justice is investigating in person. What? That's it. Who's been threatening melazines? Show yourself! <laughs> Our enemies are lurking in the shadows and won't easily reveal themselves. But no amount of hiding will keep us from finding them. That's exactly what I wanted to say. The guards have already begun to take action. We can't just stand by and watch. Think about how much we owe them. Now that they're in danger, how can we just sit back and do nothing? Everyone, please stay alert to your surroundings from now on. 
If you see any suspicious persons, report them to the guards immediately. It feels like you've been following me this whole time. Did something happen? We were informed that. <clears throat> nope. We just finished our shifts and happened to be strolling by. Have you had dinner yet? Why don't we check out the new items at the dessert shop together? This isn't a good time to be out and about. Come on, don't act tough. I bet you're hungry too. <sighs> All right, let's go buy a cake or something. You shouldn't ever skip meals, especially if you have another shift scheduled for later. I heard even Nervulet's keeping an eye on the situation. <laughs> this is the perfect chance to get promoted. We gotta make sure we give it all we've got. Seriously? Were you planning to shirk your duties if Nervilet wasn't involved? Relax, I was just playing. We've worked together for years now. If something happened to them, I'd be haunted by regret for the rest of my life. That's more like it. We should stand guard until the criminal has been caught. Come and fight me instead, you cowards! Have you heard? Even the special patrol came to help. Shh, look. Isn't that Nervulet? I think he's looking at us. Uh, looks like there's nothing to worry about. Hmm. This is truly wonderful. So, wanna go over and say hi? No, I should stay where I am. My appearance could give rise to unnecessary commotion. Let us stick to our plan and return to the Palais Mamonia. The faster we uncover the truth, the better. It's like Nouvellet and Riosley are like the same age, except Riosley looks really, really younger. But their voice actors are both pretty old. Reach too far, okay. The smuggling case was solved by the joint forces of the guards and the Marechaussee Phantom. This is the one. The list of involved suspects should be... Ah, found it. What does it say? The principal offenders Domenico, Inica, Yuna, and others have been caught. They have been sent to the fortress of Meropede following trial. Those with close connections or mutual interests with the offenders, but who did not participate in the case, will not stand trial. Among them, surveillance of Essa has ceased on account of his good behavior. All other personnel remain on our watch list. So many names. Is the one who sent that threatening letter to Kiara on the list? Yes, there is something suspicious about Essa, to be precise. It seems like he's closely related to the core members of the smuggling case, and he moves around without much restriction. Monsieur Nervalet, someone claiming to be from the Spina du Rasula just checked in with us. He okay. said, and I quote, <clears throat> We have located the suspect. They're chatting at the cafe. Huh? How did Navia find them so quickly? We've only just figured out the suspect's name. I too am perplexed. The cafe isn't too far from here. We should head over and take a look. When do I get to fight as Nouvellet?
it. Where is the cafe? Can probably glide down from here, right? the people who have had recent dealings at the Marachose Phantom. They're usually hidden in the flu of Zandra, but I sent for someone to invite them over. Invite them over? Exactly. Now, I heard there's great coffee here, and so I asked them if they'd like to come and have some. Yeah, it's our pleasure to be guests of the Spina di Rosula. <laughs> I've wanted to have a meetup like this for ages. Uh, something off. Off. But, oh well, let's get back to business. Is there anyone called Essa here? Yes, uh, that's me. You're Essa? Yes, yes, monsieur, Nervilette. Did you write that threatening letter to Kiara? Um, uh, <clears throat> I, I did, but I, I was just following orders orders from whom dominico he was my boss i couldn't disobey his orders dominico where is he now the fortress of meropede well uh, i'm afraid even the spina would have trouble looking into that place looks like you'll have to make the trip yourselves this was as much as i could do you've done more than enough i'm extremely grateful for your help Leave the formalities for later. You should find Dominico first. If he really is the one setting up the conspiracy, it'd be best if he's exposed as soon as possible. All right then, let's head to the fortress right now! Man, was that just the first part? Cause that took over an hour. <laughs> Welcome to the Fortress of Meripede, dear esteemed guests. We're back! Oh, and a greeting from none other than the Duke himself! Guess we've made a name for ourselves at this place. <laughs> this isn't anything new. I figured you had important matters to discuss when the two of you, not to mention the Chief Justice, showed up. Let's assume we've gone through the pleasantries and cut right to the chase. Hmm. I do remember a thing or two about Dominico. He once attempted to round up the other inmates and instigate a protest. Who does this guy think he is? Uh, I'm on hopes nothing came of it. He once attempted to, I said, meaning that it was over before it even started. And now he's threatening Melazines, is he? You've to be already honest, done Dominico this one, doesn't Reaper? seem like much of a conspirator. <laughs> The fact that the three of you bothered to personally investigate is there still a long ways to go flag. here? Because I've already been is there in this else for going over on an behind hour. the scenes here. <sighs> He's got the same concerns we do. I am concerned about this incident because something similar oh, has man. occurred in the past. I wish to meet Dominico in person and have my questions okay. answered. That's an easy one. Let me think. I think he's at. Oh, did I hear someone say Melazine? What happened? 
she's gonna be a playable character soon. We still don't know if she's gonna be a four star or five star. But they're putting her in as a character, playable character. You only have one left, and that's Riosley that I did earlier, okay. Yeah, and we're investigating. The person who threatened her seems to be imprisoned here. Really? Is Kiara gonna be okay? There's no need to worry. Clarand is protecting her as we speak. <sighs> well, that's great. But if the criminal's still... Is there anything you can do about this? Ah, head nurse. Do you require me to personally deal with the criminal? Rithesley. <laughs> okay, I get it. I'll bring Dominico to you. That's your only demand, correct? Think of it as more of a humble request. I'm here on my own accord, not to formally transfer a criminal for trial. I urge you to set aside any concerns. Thanks for the trouble. Consider me in your debt. For the Duke, Paimon would take this chance to ask for something really important. Well, were I still a criminal, I'd probably ask for a lighter sentence. But I'm sure Monsieur Neuvillette would reject that. But enough jokes. I'll look for Domenico and bring him to you. Make yourselves at home. Our dear head nurse has mentioned you quite a few times, so I'm sure she has a lot to say. Please come with me to the infirmary. Let's just walk by. Now that I think about it, I can leave this place soon. Uh, huh? Please rest here for a moment. Oh, and would anyone like anything to drink? Some water. that you're dehydrated, which means you have to drink up even before that. I'll bring you some tea. I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about. Nivellet doesn't drink tea, he only uh, drinks water. Seizuring. Concerned about everyone's health as always. Uh, why aren't you two saying anything? You noticed them too. The badges they wore on their chests looked quite familiar. Familiar? Uh... Paimon didn't even realize they were wearing them. But if both of you say so, let's go ask them about it. That's not a bad idea. I will stay here and wait for news from you. No, I wanted to fight as Nouvellet. I want to get into a fight and be over with this quest. Anything you need? Oh, this? Are you interested in joining the Mutual Aid Network? The Mutual Aid Network? Oh, don't tell Paimon you're another shady organization like the Beret Society. The Beret Society? Oh, you mean the group that was dissolved a while back? Rest assured, we're completely different. Okay then, what does your network usually do? We have a very long history going back as far as 400 years ago. We have never had many members throughout our history, nor do we have much of a reputation, but everyone treats each other like family. Helping each other is our purpose. At the same time, we seek to maintain just dealings as much as possible. Sounds like a pretty neat organization. <laughs> 
All we want is to defend ourselves. None of us have ever committed serious crimes, and we're not especially powerful either. We're at a natural disadvantage here in the fortress. But people won't give us a hard time if we stick together. So basically, if you go back 400 years, what he's saying there is that they go back to the movement that, yeah. Interested in joining the Mutual Aid Network? If you'd like to learn more, here's our... Our slogan may have evolved over the centuries. Here, this book is for you. Hmm. You two look kind of familiar. It's the symbol of the Mutual Aid Network designed by our first president. From what I've heard, it's based on something called a Medal of Peace. I've never seen one of those medals for myself, though. That's what the Melazine received back in the day. The first president of our network was an amazing person. Powerful as he was, he never used his strength against anyone. He encouraged the weaker criminals to stick together and look out for each other. All of us have a lot of respect for him. Yep, that sounds like a... Uh... Let's head back and talk to Nervalette. Strange that they would have their quarters right next to the infirmary where there's a melazine. And why wouldn't Sejuin be the first victim of the letter? Did you manage to gather any intel? Mm hmm The people who wore the badges belong to an organization called the Mutual Aid Network. According to them, the badge's design was inspired by the Medal of Peace. Have you seen any of those before? I personally crafted two of them myself. They were awarded to Carol and Vautrin. Carol's medal was destroyed in a fire. The only one that remained should belong to Vautrin. Oh! So the network was inspired by... Monsieur Nervillet, His Grace has requested your presence in his office. He's found Dominico. Hmm. All right. Let us talk to him first and get to the bottom of this situation. I think I went around the wrong side. Allow me to introduce this fine gentleman, Dominico. Why don't you explain everything to him? N Nervilet? What, what do you want? What are you gonna do? Kill me? Yes. Calm down. I merely want to ask you a few questions. Was it your idea to send that letter to a melusine? Uh, I... Uh, Essain has already confessed, so there really isn't any need to keep hiding. Oh, that idiot! I can't believe I trusted him. Let me ask this another way. It was your idea to send that letter, correct? Yes. Who is pulling your strings? What? You, you're not trying to frame me for something I haven't done, are you? Hmm. It's best if you realize the gravity of your situation. 
The Chief Justice of Fontaine has been personally investigating your case. I assume your previous attempt to incite unrest at the Fortress of Meripede has something to do with this as well. I... I admit I acted on impulse. I'll tell you the truth. But before that, you must ensure my safety. I can do that. You see? We're all reasonable people here. I only intended to do some small business at first. Someone contacted me about delivering some goods and promised me a generous sum of more in return. After making a few trips, I was suddenly approached by the Marichose Phantom. They accused me of smuggling prohibited items, and I was put on trial. But I refused to accept any of that. The ignorant can be rightfully absolved from guilt, right? Well, I suspect that someone got me locked up here so they could get their hands on my goods. And then you decided to take revenge on the Melazines? Over that? My initial target was Nervy Lett. Everyone in the forces of Meripede was declared guilty by him, after all. So they must more or less hold a grudge against them, right? If I could get them to strike back... But for some reason, no one wanted to team up with me. That mutual aid network in particular... What did those nobodies even gain from trying to challenge me? Seriously. In the end, I had to redirect my focus onto Melazines to salvage things. I recall that Kiara was the one who confiscated my goods for inspection. So I asked one of the more approachable guards to send a letter, claiming that I meant to contact my family. But the letter was in fact addressed to Essa. I requested that he write a threat letter to Kiara and force it to resign from the Mari Chose Phantom. Am I to assume that the claims you've made are your own thoughts? Have you been in contact with any suspicious people recently? No. Is it true that all members involved in the smuggling scandal have been caught? Yes. And that's all I know. <laughs> Sijuin, please take him back to the detention center. I'll deal with him later. So, Monsieur Nervillette, you were concerned that there might be a shadowy faction looking to capitalize on the delicate situation with the Melazines to stir up greater chaos? Yes. I experienced a similar incident in the past, so I had to be prepared for any possibility. And how long ago was this incident? 400 years ago? More than 400 years. <laughs> you might be overthinking this. Time can change a lot of things. Everything's different now. What do you mean? 400 years ago, you and the Melazines you brought to Fontaine were the outliers in society. But in the present day, if someone were to threaten the safety of the Melazines, people wouldn't just sit back and do nothing. I trust that they would make different choices from before. That's right! We saw lots of people standing up for Melazines on our way back to the Palais Mermonia. Monsieur Nevillette, the Melazines are a species you introduced to Fontaine. How the public treats them is also reflective of their attitude towards you. When people refused to place their trust in Melazines, it was because they were still on the fence about you, their unfamiliar Chief Justice. For almost 500 years, you've conducted every trial with impartiality. You made the right judgment each time regardless of whatever nonsense went on. People no longer have any reservations about you and even consider you a symbol of the law. Right now, your every decision will impact all of Fontaine. In other words, you've gradually transformed the whole nation. Hyman gets it now. No wonder no one wanted to join forces with Dominico. I am undeserving of such high compliments. From my perspective, I have simply been fulfilling my duties. It isn't anything special or worthy of praise. I'm simply fulfilling the promises I've made and searching for answers through my judgments. It is unnecessary to hold me in such high regard. The complexity of human emotions and willpower far exceed those of mine. As a matter of fact, I believe that you are the ones who deserve my respect. There's no need to be so modest. The current state of affairs says it all. You're no longer that outsider you were before. Even if you wished to investigate something on your own, many would take the initiative to lend you a hand. I must say that you've made a fair point. Thank you for clearing my doubts. Now that the case has been settled, I should get going. 
Huh? You're leaving? And so soon, too? Why not stay for a cup of tea? Thank you for the offer, but I know how this place works all too well. While some are here to redeem themselves, there will inevitably be those who harbor resentment towards me. The less time I spend here, the better. My presence could very well result in an unwanted disturbance. In that case, I'll have to insist. I still have two more things to say. Please, go ahead. The first is about the guard who helped Dominico send that letter. Ah, I know of what you speak. The guard was indeed deployed from the Palais Memoria's staff. However, as I mentioned earlier, I visited today on personal business. Therefore, I leave that matter in your hands. Well, that makes things a lot easier. Hey now, don't let your imagination run wild. Those from up there have a tendency to sympathize with others. However, down here, such thoughts will put you at high risk. I'll have a chat with the guard and remind him to take precautions in the future. I see no issues with that. Great! That's one thing out of the way. Uh, what's the other thing you wanted to say? The other thing was born from my own sense of curiosity. Now, I've heard that you investigated the mutual aid network. Is that right? Yep. Never I thought their badges looked familiar. I noticed the small gang as well when I first took over the Fortress of Meripeed. They were not great in number, but every member always made sure to stand up for what was right. I've looked into their founder, Vautran, who once stood trial and was sentenced to imprisonment in the fortress. According to existing documentation, Vautran remained disciplined throughout his imprisonment. He had never once engaged in physical or verbal aggression. In other words, how he presented himself in prison was very different from his behavior in court. What? During his trial, I could sense that his feelings were complicated. He appeared to be full of resentment, and I believe he had every right to feel that way. Perhaps he had been putting on an act. An act? Nervillette and Vautran had a close relationship as superior and subordinate. Vautran must have known that the Chief Justice would make an impartial judgment. Thus, the more resentment he displayed, the clearer it would be to those present that you were upholding justice. And to those who had been sitting on the fence, Vautran's act was a very meaningful one. <sighs> That's all for me. Does anyone else have anything to say? Now's your chance. I don't have anything to say. Apart from expressing my gratitude, that is. Well then, let us head back. No need to see us off. When do we get to fight as Nouvellet? Please, take care. That trial is something I rarely bring up in conversation, but... I have always felt deep regret for what happened to both Carol and Vautrin. The words he spoke in court often replay in my mind, as if urging me on to do something. But Risley said he never resented you, right? Isn't that a good thing? I believe I now understand what he wanted to tell me. I feel conflicted about those words. How should I describe it? Surprise, relief, fear, and regret. But this blend of emotions has led me to finally understand some things. I would like to hear your thoughts, too. What do you think of me? Paimon agrees with everything Risley said. As Chief Justice, every single one of your trials makes an impact on Fontaine. Uh, hey, any comments? What I really think is... Every trial you've ever judged has left its impression on you. And that's what makes you who you are today. Dang, he doesn't talk often. It's so out of character. And then I stopped talking. Mm. That is indeed a reasonable assumption. As I said, I find it difficult to express my emotions because I cannot fully understand myself. But I trust your judgment. Since some time ago, I have begun to notice the changes that have occurred upon my person. 
Yes. These changes were not due to any specific occurrence, but emerged as a result of time itself. I will try to contemplate this further. Thank you both. Oh. Huh? It's raining! Oh no! Paimon forgot to bring an umbrella! Come on, let's hurry before it rains harder! Ugh, it's raining again. I've had enough of this weather. Ugh, there go my travel plans. Did you read the news this morning? Quick, put away everything on the clothesline. <sighs> when is this rain going to stop? <laughs> Hydro Dragon, Hydro Dragon, don't cry! They're planning to reanimate the monster. We have to report this to the Chief Justice. The Fortress of Meripede. It's a good place for me. Nervilet? Hmm. You could say he's the real symbol of Fontaine's justice. Watch him closely. He could be trouble. How can two completely different species possibly coexist? Who's been threatening Melisines? Show yourself! You will see much in the human world, from the delightful to the depressing. And one day, when you have dwelt among humanity long enough, you will be placed to bring judgment over all as a spokesperson for Fontaine's past. Good morning, Monsieur Nouvellet! The rainy season's almost <laughs> over! The skies are supposed to clear in a few days! I hope you find time to enjoy the sunny days ahead. Is the matter resolved? Yep. We found the person who sent that threatening letter. Risley said he'd keep a close eye on him, so the Melusine should be safe now. Oh, that's wonderful. Sorry for dragging you all into this. There's no need to apologize. Yeah, you didn't drag us in. We got involved of our own accord. Uh, by the way, where's Kiara? At the Palais Marmonia. More than 50 people offered to protect her, some even hid within the bushes to look out for danger. I was worried that the excess of protection would make her feel uneasy. So I asked her to stay inside the palais. It's very safe in there. <sighs> what a relief! Well, now it looks like the dust has finally settled. To celebrate this joyous occasion, Monsieur Nouvellette, would you be interested in an exclusive interview? That's not how you celebrate! <laughs> I will consider it. Really? Of course. My schedule is full for the following weeks, but I should be available next month. Come up with questions during the intervening days, and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Yes! Thank you so much, monsieur! Now, if you'll excuse me, I must head back to the Palais and issue a communique to publicize our investigation results. 
I hope it will assuage the concerns of all. Oh, an exclusive interview! Am I dreaming? Oh, what should I ask him? Don't let anything hold you back. Make the most of this opportunity and ask away. I agree. He'll decline any question he can't answer anyway. So you might as well give all of them a shot. Just making sure you guys are paying attention. <laughs> it's a long story, and I can't even fight at them. Crappy, crappy. Kiara? <laughs> Monsieur Nuvilak? I'm sleeping standing up, that would be so cool. It's quite all right. I'm here to tell you that we have caught the sender of that threatening letter. You're safe now. Thank you, monsieur. And thank you too, traveler and big sis Paimon. Everyone's been so nice to me, so I've always felt really safe. Do you remember Domenico? He was the sender of that letter. Let me think. Uh, I can't remember. My memory isn't that good, so I easily forget things. By the way, I saw Carol in my dreams just now. Hmm. Where's she gone, by the way? I haven't seen her in a long time. Uh... In my dream, she looked really happy. She held my hand and said, Kiara, our dreams have finally come true. I can't remember what our dreams were anymore, mm. and I don't know why, but I felt really happy too. I can sense your joy. It is indeed a delightful moment. <laughs> Monsieur Nevillette, are you happy too? Oh, I almost forgot! Am I allowed to go out now? Yes. I promised to model for Alof. Of course. Off you go. See you next time, Monsieur, Traveler, and Big Sis Paimon. Hmm. See you next time. No, oh, man. Is that it? I can't believe that was it. Is that the story? And I don't even get to fight as him. Wow, that was a big letdown. Dang. Folks. Okay, let's go and see our fortune.
Let's see what this says. Days when clouds drift through the sky brings a feeling of great contentment. Work will go smoothly and good ideas will come to you, even during your noon nap. Suddenly you will find brand new common ground with old friends. Every day will be positive and filled with cheer. Your lucky object for the day is a luscious lavender melon. People often praise the virtue of being the same on the inside as on the outside. But the lavender melon extravagant exterior hides a humble sweetness within. So folks, you heard it. I need to go and get a lavender melon. And people be like, what? There we go. Got my melon. Let's go back to the shrine. <laughs> Okay, should I start with the standard banner or should I go straight for Kazuha? Go straight for Kazuha? Yes, no, maybe. I'll wait till you guys wake up. Da, da, da. Should I start with the standard or Kazuha? Everybody's been pretty silent, so here we go. We already, in our history, must go back. Thirty wishes. Thirty here goes to forty, folks. Thank you, Timmy. Yes, awesome. Let's 
Shinshu. Okay, well, unfortunately, that is 50, so now we... Yeah, we're going to 50. What? I don't want a Favonius great sword. No. Kimo. 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 Masde kimoi. Honto kimoi. Saite. Honto saite. Sasa to kiete yo. Ata nan ga dai kirai. Dai 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 kirai. Dai 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 kirai. <laughs> Alexia, <laughs> no. Favonia's sword is crappy. This is sixty. Oh man. Kimo 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 Mazde Kimoi Honto Kimoi Saite Honto Saite Sasa to Kiete Yo Ata Nan Ga Dai Kirai Dai 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 Kirai Dai 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 Kirai Well, at least it's two four stars, but this is... Neither one of them are any good. Okay, last one. What is this? We're going up to 60 now? No, this will be 70. Yeah, we're going to 70 here. C6, Barbara. Da, da, da. Wow. Inactivity serves no...
Yeah, Sheena's not on the list, Reaper. Whatsoever. Talk to the Electro Archon. Fingers crossed, because this is eighty. I already see six Barbara. I don't need any more Barbaras. And I already have Teneri. I don't want another Teneri. It's completely useless to me. Nope, that's it. I lost. Uh... No, I got Denari. Another Denari. I can't oh. afford it. Mm. <laughs> I can't afford it, even if he is worth it. I need Farina more than I need Kazuha. Well, send me some crystals and I'll pull for him. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, Alexia. <laughs> wow. No, I don't. There is literally no other way for me to get primos. Other than doing dailies. We broke. Yeah, we are broke. Well, Farina's better. 
Sorry, I only well on my husband's account, but you'll have enough time to save. No, I don't. That's why you have to give money to your fiancé, because... Dude, you don't get enough wishes or primo gems from the game. There's no more chests for me to open. All I get is, like, you know... 20 to 40 primos a day doing the dailies. And that's it. But since people want me to do another ten pull, here we go. Da -da -da. Please just be a regular Favonia sword. Or cookie, I need a cookie. Please be cookie. Please, please, please be cookie. I need a cookie. Well, I did mention that I needed a Favonia sword, so I guess I got what I asked for. Darn it, I should have asked for a cookie. I need cookie. Why did I get Denari? I need Cookie. I even got Razor the other day. On the Nouvellet banner. Why can I not have Cookie instead? Yep, that's pretty much it. How come it didn't give me a wish, though? If I already have a C6 character, shouldn't it give me a wish? I wonder when I'll be as tall as my big sister. Like, I got another Barbara, where did my wish go? No, because whatever leftover I have. So I lost my 50-50, so I'm guaranteed for Reno. 
I'm the guaranteed Farina, so I am not going to wreck that. Like the dew at dawn, or a bubble rising through water. Say I can't buy any more. And I already got another razor. I don't want amber or razor. So they give you a star glitter, five star glitters. No. Transitory. All the world holds you guys have got gambling habits and motion. that's not good folks I stand before it alone and unchanging to the electro archon whenever you are troubled oh, apparently I get no cause what that is it darn it but I thought they would have given you a wish, though. Or a fate or something when you get another Barbara or a C7 Barbara. I would have wished that it gave me a wish. Yeah, using your resources properly, I need a Farina more than I need a Kazuha. I can't afford it, so no. He's bad luck. <laughs> uh, that is a possibility. Talk to the Electro Archon. That is a possibility. Well, it's your fault for not noticing that he was in the rotation first, so... I would have even preferred another Chi-Chi to... To Tenari. And sincerely, really, of all the characters I could have gotten, why did they give me another Tenari? Like, there's so many characters that you can get... I already got the, uh, they could have given me a Mona, a Deluke, a Jean. They could have given me Candice. Could have got, given me Cookie. You know, instead they gave me a Razor. I got two eyes of pers perspective or perception. See, they gave me a razor. Ah. But at least I'm guaranteed a Farina, so I am good. But anybody got a calculator? <laughs> it's Oh, 
so I need 14,400 Primo Gems to get to, na to 90 Wishes, which is my guaranteed Farina. The problem is, is that if I start using my Wishes now for Kazuha, and I do get Kazuha, then I'm back to a 50-50 for Farina. To which uh, I might lose the 50-50. So then I don't have enough to guarantee me a Farina. So even though I have like maybe 5,000 wishes to go. Yeah, even if I do get Kazwa, I won't have enough to guarantee me a Farina. But hey, I already got Nouvellet on this, you know, on this cycle. And I'm guaranteed a Farina. Well, Kazuha is not as important as he used to be. Like, yes, two years ago, he would have been a must-have on your team. But now... I mean, Farina, you know, and I do have Sucrose, which is not exactly the same as Kazwa, mm -hmm. but a good Sucrose <sighs> is just as good. Sucrose is a four star Kazwa. Okay, so, and Kazwa is a five star Sucrose. You know, but I do need, I do need a Farina more than I need anything else. Even if I do have a Nouvellet, he pretty much can, you know, work on his own team, but Farina would work really good with these, you know. Because Farina has an on-field and off-field hydro application that is just out of this world. China is not coming out before November and I'm not going to be playing in November because... Folks, I already don't have any quests, you know, all I do every day is log in, spend resin, and even with the characters that I do have, you know, still haven't finished leveling up Bennett's circlet. Chi Chi is, you know, still haven't finished up her artifacts. Noel not even finished her artifacts. I don't have enough resin to level up stuff. Okay, so yeah, she's pretty solid. Again, Diona, not enough. Okay, so he's uh, completely leveled up, so he's good to go. Barbara still needs a couple of level ups. Nouvellet definitely needs level ups. I'm still haven't done his flower yet. 
And he's still like level 72. I don't have a hero wits to do him. Same thing with Layla, because at C0, Nouvellet, he needs Layla. And Layla's artifacts aren't even leveled up yet. So, you know, you log in every day, do your daily, spend resin, and that's it. And I need to start working on her because I think she would be better in the Abyss than Yu Tao. I know your husband likes to main Yu Tao, but he probably has her at C6. And Yu Tao's been really lousy for me. So I'm going to switch over to Zhang Ling. Withering Waves is coming out shortly, so. I'll get Farina and then I'll be playing Withering Waves. <laughs> yeah, the meta pretty much. Well, they keep coming out with new characters. So, yeah, Farina, Nouvellet are really good hydro applicators. They both work together or even on two different teams for the Abyss. Wuthering Waves is supposed to kill Genshin anyways, and I think they'll do it. That's what they're aiming for. They are aiming to kill this game, so. And I think they'll do it. The way that people have been talking about with the ring waves. I mean, I'm going to miss the elemental reactions, but I'm not going to miss all the. You know, I don't know if you guys noticed, but there was a survey this week. That I did yesterday. And they're like, how do you like our guides? Like, when you set the filter, hey, they tell you here what to do. You need to get the emblem of severed fates. And then when you click on this, then they show you the recommended stuff. But guess what, folks? They don't give us resin to go and get these. So I told them their guide is completely useless without resin. You guys don't give us any resin. This guide is a total waste of propaganda. I hate to be racist, but I really hate mihoyos. If I see a mihoyo in the street, man, he's not going to be in a good not having a good time at all. Yes, Nahida is super meta, and I'm happy that people told me to go and get her. She's really awesome. She's changed my game so much. Because of her, I decided to start doing the Abyss. Before her, it was just a dream, because I didn't have the characters to do it. Because Shogun and Yu Tao are just not strong enough to solo every team. Even when they're on the same team, I still don't have enough DPS. Well, even if they put the resin unlimited, the RNG is so bad in this game that you could, you know, literally spend six months in domains before you start getting anything good. You know, I got tons of stuff. But they're no good. 
crit damage, but it rolls into defense and flat HP on a crit damage. Where's the crit rate? Where's the energy recharge? Where's the elemental mastery? Where's the attack percentage? No, it gives me flat attack. Ooh, HP circlet. Yay. See, I got a pyro cup. Fantastic. On a blizzard strayer. Because everybody knows what you want is a pyro cup on a cryo damage bonus set. Right? Like, they are just, you know, laughing at us. And it's infuriating. Well, unfortunately, I'm stuck doing constellations because today they gave me a second Tenari that I don't even use. Since I got Nahida, I don't really need another Dendro Applicator. So, you know, you only need one Dendro per team. And if I needed a second one, I'd use Yao Yao. At least she heals. Well, Aldaheim is still pretty very strong. He's one of the biggest DPSs in this game. I'd really wish I had him. Instead of Tenari or Yao Yao, I would gladly exchange Yao Yao and Tenari and Koli for Aldenheim. So, they were asking how we felt about their guide, and I told them it's completely bloody useless. The Electro Archon whenever you are troubled. Without the resin, you need resin to do their talents, you need resin to level them up, you need to do two different world bosses when they're five stars. And there's no chest left around. There's no more primos for me to get in this game. Talk to the Electro Archon whenever you are troubled. The only way for me to get primos is to 36 the Abyss, and I don't have enough resources to do it. Not without Farina. Inactivity serves no purpose whatsoever. He's definitely worth it. Yeah, he Talk is. The Electro Archon whenever you are troubled. You know, there's a good couple of secondaries that are really good. Yeah, Yaka does really good cryo damage, like, beyond belief. You know, why can't I get her? Why am I stuck with Yanfei instead? You know, you don't even need the Shogun. Just a good Fischl is just almost as good. I don't care. Nouvellette is like the, the most boring guy to play, but I kind of need him because I can't 36 the Abyss. And if I can't 36 the Abyss, then I don't get no Primos, which is pretty much my only source now. To get primos. Yes. Ganyu also does a lot of DPS. But I, you know. I don't have them. I don't have these DPS characters. You 
and the one I got I do have you tell just commits suicide constantly because she chews up her own HP to deal damage so she ends up killing herself to do damages okay yes her burst heals her but not enough it heals her a third of her HP where you know it would be better if it was like three quarters or at least half kinda a little bit like Nouvellet doesn't go be below a half Uh, some of the statues are max, not all of them. Not the one in uh, Fontaine. I flopped in the abyss, so did I. I got to the 12th floor and I didn't even do finish the first part of the first chamber because I none of my characters died, but I couldn't kill them fast enough. I don't have enough DPS. Yep, Monsa, Liu, Liu uh, Inazuma, Sumeru. Sumeru was bloody hard. When I started looking for... For the Oculus and Sumeru, they were all behind the quests. I have like two quests that I found today. They're really hard to find. Scenes from life here gives me 30 primos and cafeteria coupons. I need hero wits. So now I'm even stuck doing the ley lines and spending resin to do ley lines to get these. So their bloody guide can be stuffed up their rears. Because I don't have any resin to go for for artifacts. After scaling the characters to get hero wits and doing their talents and doing the world bosses to level them up, I don't have any the resin for artifacts. You are troubled, but human life is like the dew at dawn or a bubble rising through water. Transitory. I did it yesterday and the day before and I failed miserably. You can ask Alexia. <clears throat> she was watching me and I did not do good. But I can do it anyways. I don't mind. That's a lot of button smashing and I don't do well. <laughs> Give me a second off screen here, folks. Here's a message from our sponsor. No, he's not C2, he's C1. It's the second time I get him. I mean, I use Chi Chi a lot more than I use Daenery. When you have Nahida, there's no, you don't need any other Dendro. Inactivity serves no purpose whatsoever. <laughs> okay, let's look at my teams here. This is my overworld team. So basically this will be my first team and this will be my second team. See, I should have gone for a C1 Nouvellet instead of Kazuha. 
That way I can remove Layla and have Farina in here or have uh, Sucrose. I can't use Barbara because she ends up being frozen. I don't have any more world quests. It took me a week to find these two. I've been playing for a month now without any world quest to find anywhere. And that's after last month going through the Wikipedia trying to find the ones that were not listed. Why would I go with Fischl instead of going with the Shogun? My Shogun's better than Fischl. And I need Layla for a shield for Nouvellet because my Nouvellet is C0 and he gets interrupted. So I cannot use Nouvellet without using Layla. Yes. Yes, Dexter, I've done those. I had to go into the Wikipedias to find them. <sighs> yeah, well, Shogun also... Shogun does a lot of DPS compared to Fischl, and she can also charge everybody being off-field, so... Instead of going for Kazuha, I should have gone with for a C1 Nouvellet. That way I could replace Layla and have Sucrose in here or anybody else. But I do need a little bit of healing, and Diona provides also extra shields and healing to keep Nahida and Layla alive. Because Nouvellet can self-heal, but can't heal the others, so... Yeah, my pot is maxed out, so that's a pain in the butt. And I hate the teapot. Uh, that's some of the end game that is really, really crappy. And it's a lot of work for very little primos. See, I haven't even completed the 12th, the 10th floor. Okay, 10th floor is done. 11th floor, I haven't even got all my stars. Well, this is where I start struggling. And I can't even kill anything here. Yeah, doing the kits for their bonuses and stuff.
I tried the Hyper Bloom in the first one. It didn't work out well. But I can do it. Okay, here we go. Oh, give me a second here. I need to fill up the tank. Well, see, the the off-field hydro would be... Well, I need to get them wet first, so that's how this works. Okay, well, he's already down. Even though I put up a shield... Now. Silence. Justice is blind. 
Blindsided. Let the mind be humble. How your head. <laughs>
Bowser. Please remain seated. Justice is blindsided. Apologies. <laughs> See, without a shield, I can't do nothing with him. Set one down. A gift for you. Let the mice be humble. A grand surprise. Apologies. Did I scare you? Please hold for just a moment. Bow your head. Let my magic begin. Everyone hold hands. Blind sight. An oversight on my part. Bow your head. Forgive my disgrace. A gift for you. Justice is blindsided. I see the temperate waters of Eon's past. Yeah, but he gets interrupted. These two keep knocking him down constantly. He can't do nothing. And they managed to kill Diona and Layla. So, but they're still level like 72 and 70. And her artifacts are, you know, level 8, 9, 9, 8, 8. <laughs> and his are what, 16, 16, 4, 20, you know. And, well, I need resin to level things up, so, yep. And Farina's a great hydro applicator for that hyper bloom, and then I could put Nouvellet on the other team. Horny little dragon, yes he is. Free to play accounts really suck, but man, you know, I have so many bills to pay and the vet bills because I love my cats and you guys know I love my cats and they've been sick recently. And had some emergency surgeries on the little one. So, yeah. Very expensive. I can't afford to put money in this game. And, honestly, there's no more quests to do in this game. Yeah, I've done that. As a matter of fact, I killed all the bosses in co-op before I even tried to do it all by myself. Turumi's been a great help for me. <coughs> yeah, Alexia, because it goes fast. It really goes fast, so until the Natlin arrives and we get chests and quests and stuff to do, there's nothing to do in between updates or expansions to the game. Navia fan, hellos. No, I got a C1 uh, Teneri. 
The world remains constant over the centuries, but human life is like the dew at dawn, or a bubble rising through water. Transitory. Let's see those two, those two at the end there that I was fighting. One of them is Cryo. So if I bring Barbara to the fight here, she she ends up being frozen. Sure, she can revive anybody that's fallen, but she's get frozen, and you have to smash the keys, which I'm not good at. No, it's not. I don't use Tenari, and I have no use for Tenari. I have Nahida. Which is so much a better uh, dendro applicator than Tenari. By far. Even the Traveler Dendro is better than Tenari. Shenyu's been done in the first week that I it came out. Not now. Don't be scared. Bow your head. I see everything. The night is cold. Stars. Set the 
Preserved. Don't be scared. Can't handle your dreams. Bow your head. My guiding star. Yeah, if you max out the carbs, they do give you stuff. Rain outlines your There is no escape. It's 74, 84, 76 at the moment. Okay. Yeah, once you get the, in the 80s, uh, chests and stuff are really hard to start finding there. Not now. Settle down. Let the mighty 
be humble. Everyone hold hands. No, I got C1 Denari. No, I don't have Cookie and I don't have Mona. And Ternari's like level 20, no artifacts, and I don't have Cookie, so... What I do is Dendro Traveler Burst, Young Fae. Yeah, my Young Fae is like uh, level 1, no artifacts, no skills, no nothing. I was really close on that last one, though. Almost got it. Hmm. Lizard tail. Pepper. Star Conch? Hmm, what else do I need? So no, I did not get him. Disgusting cocktail. Hmm. 
I did do better in the second chamber, but... And I did do better in the third, but... 300 seconds. Does it tell you how long it took me on my last trial? Oh, I did two stars again. Oh, I thought I did. Oh, I thought I was on the third chamber. Darn it. So I didn't even do better here. And this is what I got as a result before even getting Nouvellet. Dang. I definitely need Farina more than I need Kazuha. Hey, she's got artifacts. <laughs> okay. I think I put that on her today from other stuff, but... No, Zhang Ling is still a better pyro applicator than Yang Fei. What do they recommend for Yang Fei? Crimson Witch of Flames. Okay. I already have one of those sets, so one day if I ever level her up. <clears throat> what is Young Fei like? Ooh, it's raining. Not good. What is even Young Fade like? I charge a higher rate. I don't think I've ever tried her. Motion to compel. 
Well, these pyro flames of slimes will be fun. So will this pyro dude, but okay, let's try it anyways. Yeah, I see everything. Yeah. Uh, Well, I guess everybody left, so I mean it's time for me to go to bed. Is that why you guys are so silent all of a sudden now? Oh, she died. Okay. That was fun. <laughs> no, still here. Why does it show that only have two people or one people in the chat here. Well, a lot of people voted that I would lose the 50-50, so whoever voted that, uh, you were right. It went to soft pity, but I lost a 50-50. Yep, that's what she said. Are about to start getting light. Zora! Hello! You miss all my wishes. <laughs> but you can always re-watch this video and see what I got, who I got. But I did my wishes and I did not get Kazuha. Kazuha? Oh, you actually saw me lose my 50-50? You were here and staying silent? <laughs> ah. I guess Alexia has gone to explore the brave new world. Yeah, 82, 88, 76. But I've been all throughout here and I could not find any more treasures or nothing or challenges or... What were you playing? Are you playing this game? <laughs> oh, man. Not like there's anything here to actually grab or find or do or oh chest. Here 
curiosity deserves a reward. Yay, two primos. And money. Yeah, I'm on Genshin. Okay, Dendro, Traveler, Barbara, Lisa, Kaya. <laughs> I need some, but I need some advice. I haven't played Genshin since Dendro came out, and so most of the new characters I know nothing about. Recommendations? Yes! Uh, well, if Dendro came out, then you have Nahida, right? Unfortunately, if you don't have Nahida, Dendro Traveler is pretty much the second best. If you have Wishes, I do recommend... Well, do you have Venti or Sucrose? Okay, so you don't really need Kazuha, because he's like a five-star Sucrose. Her Sucrose is a uh, four-star Kazuha. Yao Yao and Kolai, okay. Well, Kolai is like a Tenari. They're not really... Whereas Yao Yao can be good. She's a... She's very... She's not a great Dendro applicator. But she does do a little bit of Dendro with her radishes. And she heals, but you're still better off with a Dendro Traveler. But if you have wishes, I definitely do recommend uh, Nouvellette. Or wait until the next update and get Farina. If you can afford both, get both. Farina, put, I would put her first. Because she plays with a team. Whereas Nouvellette, well, you need a shielder. If you don't have Layla or Zhongli, Nouvellette won't be any good to you because he keeps getting knocked down and he's only good in his charge attacks. So I'd recommend wishing on Farina if you don't have Zhongli or Layla. <laughs> And you have Kazwa? Dang. Okay, well, I'll shut up now. Okay, so, yeah. I won't comment on your videos. I want to comment on your videos. Thank you. Much appreciated. And also you can comment on Tarumi. Because he has a friend that uh, put some really nasty comments. On his videos. So... He can always use a little bit of pick-me-up on his videos. 
But yeah, go right ahead. I also have Zhongli. Okay. Oh, you went to comment on my video, so that's why you were AFK. Oh, okay. Thank you, Alexia. I think I also need to reinstate your permissions, provided that we have a little talk in Discord whenever you're available. Hmm. Not to repeat some stuff that happened. Ooh, luxurious chest. Okay, I'll take it. Wow, so many raw materials. Now, what's the point of going there? Where did I go? Oh, did I already do this? Oh, I already did this. Darn it. I did not want to come here. <laughs> you still there, Alexia? So, if you have Zhong Li, you have a really good shielder. I do recommend Nuvalet because just the both of them, uh, they can solo the Abyss. <laughs> Anything, Farazan. Uh, Dory, nobody likes Dory. Uh, Candice is not as good as Jinshu. If you have a Jinshu, then you're good. If you have a Bennett, you're good. If you have a Sucrose, you're good. Do you have a Cookie? Cookie Shinobi? She's really good. If you don't have Nav uh, Navia, get... Um, Then draw Traveler. Uh, if you... Well, you already have Zhongli, so you don't need to have Navia as Geo. So you got a pretty good team. Hey, Solenoid. He isn't have done yet, FYI. Well, Farazan can kind of work with teams, but since we are limited on resources, I would, you know, I definitely work on Kazuha, definitely else. work on Zhongli. Yao Yao is also good in the Abyss because she won't freeze like Barbara. They put a lot of freeze freezers. In the abyss, so Barbara mm. always gets frozen. Hmm. But yeah, either get Nouvellet and definitely get Farina, and you'll have you know everything that you need for the abyss if that's your goal. Hey, yo, the Disney-style AI looks cool. No, it's not Disney. <laughs> I don't like Disney. Ever since they bought the Marvels and Star Wars, uh, they just really took a crap on everything. I love Cookie. It tastes so good. <laughs> I, I don't know if you were there, Alexia, when I mentioned that maybe I need to give you back your permissions and editor stuff but I just wanted to mention that I'd like to have a talk with you in discord off off of a stream how dare they talk to the hand Navia is a yes she is amazing but he already has Zhongli so Navia does a lot of damage for a geo character but between Navia and getting Farina, definitely get Farina. Between Navia and getting Nouvellet, definitely get Nouvellet. But then it's Navia on the list. Okay, thank you. 
No, she's not a shield. She's a DPS. But he needs a shield to use Nouvellet if he wants to wish for Nouvellet. If he wants to wish for Farina, Farina's a better team player. She will work good with Electro. She will go work good with Freeze teams. She has a... Well, look at the videos on YouTube. She's a great off-field Hydro applicator. What was that? Like, phenomenal. Oh, it's gone. So, she reacts... Can hydro reacts with everything. Reacts with Pyro for Vaporize. Reacts with everything. So, being an off-field Hydro applicator is phenomenal she has this like like three little minions that she spawns and kind of like jingling that has the fire turning around that you can switch out characters and still have it off field it's the same thing with farina so if you have zhongli jingling and farina you can transfer through the shogun and have all this electricity, fire, and vaporize, and everything going at once. Farina's phenomenal mm. with everybody. Mm. Huh. Okay, Reaper wants me to look at his stuff. Okay, here, let's have a look. Oh no, wrong menu. Friends, Reaper, check information, and we are looking at Nouvellet, artifacts. Oh, you did not go for his set of the Marichose. Okay. Okay, well, we'll look at the levels of your artifacts. Crits, crit damage, and energy recharge. Weapon, okay, you did give him his weapon, good. And 18, 20, 0, what's his cup? Hydro damage, elemental mastery attack, and crit rates. HP. Attack. What did you go with this circlet? Damage. Crit rate. Look at my Ayato. You might cry. And Shogun. Shogun is still in progress. So, crit rate of 12% plus crit damage, 62, wow, 62%. Crit rate, crit damage on an HP. What does he have here? Crit rate, crit damage, elemental mastery, HP percentage, that's a good feather. Crit, crits, and elemental masteries. Elemental... Yeah, he needs... Yeah. Hopefully one of these substats will roll into energy recharge. Because he does need a little bit. He doesn't need much. Okay, you do have energy recharge on this. Okay, you're good. Yeah, and okay, let me because sometimes I forget even where I am at with my character. I don't even have hydro damage on the cup, I have HP on this cup because me too is a work in progress, and I don't have a Marichose set. So his sands is HP, Gladiator. 
an HP cup of the Marichaux say because that's the only way I could get the four piece to work on him. Because it increases both charge attack damages, which is what he does the most. And the crit rate also increases by 12% for 5 seconds, and it stacks up 3 times when his HP goes up or down, which it does. And I gave him a crit rate, so yeah. Crit damage, so you're good. You're actually quite good for the gladiator on that. Maybe that's something I should have done. Just maybe you will also cry. I know I will cry. Of course I'm gonna cry. Uh, except I have to find your... Because you did have like two accounts at one point. So are we looking at your level 48? Okay, well, your character details are hidden. So I am so going to cry. He came home in 36 pulls. I don't know who came in, but I'm guessing character details hidden. Help. One sec. <laughs> I turned them off. I got my first copy of Yang Fei yesterday. Yeah, I'm up to UK time yesterday. Yeah, I got Young Fei, and now I got like, she's like C5 now. So I don't know if she's going to end up being better than C0 Zheng Ling. But I'll have to have a look. Maybe look at my other account. I don't know. Well, let's see. Did you fix it here? Nope. They are still hidden to me. Did you put me on your ban list? Okay, that's 40. Where is your other account? Is it Mocha? I don't think it's Mocha. Alex, would that? No, that's not you. Nawi, okay. Ah, you have a yaka. So yeah, you definitely are thirty-sixing the abyss, aren't you, Bennett? Definitely 36 in the abyss. Yeah, I love Chinese cooked in a walk. How do you guys work with two accounts? I have trouble with one account. Oh, somebody has Gene. What's this cup? Anemo damage. Oh, let me see. Okay. A two-piece VV. Okay. 
Oh, I hate her. I hate her looks. I hate her everything. Lisa. Well, somebody put some effort into Lisa. Tarumi would be proud of you. Hey, you got a Yaka. Yaka, Bennett, Mona, Yang Fei, Jean. Yeah, you do kind of need official, don't you? Official or shogun or co a cookie. You like cookies. You need a cookie. Oh, you also need dendro. Where's your traveler? Why can I not see your traveler? You need a dendro traveler. You don't have any dendro. Plus no five star drops. Yeah, you're gonna have to change that. Character details hidden. <laughs> It won't let me log in. Why? Because it's been longer than 31 days ago. <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't know if that has anything to do with anything, honestly. Hey, but at least I got a chest. Okay, so what... Am I at now? Dang, I went from 76 to 83. That's just crazy. No, I don't want to go there. I want to go here. Okay. Yeah, tell me about it. When I had that scare about my YouTube thing, I removed everybody, including my own's permissions. And it took me two days emailing YouTube to get them back. Ooh, challenge. I thought my account was hacked and... I removed all my permissions and then I was stuck emailing YouTube support. Start the challenge. Where do I need to go now? How do I get up there? I can't get up there. What is this joke? How am I supposed to get up there? Oh, okay. No, I don't want to go in here. Challenge failed. Obviously, I failed the challenge. Oh, well, there's a way to find that, though. Anyway, I'll just go on my alt. Yeah, but, uh... Do you use Google Chrome to log in for your daily check-ins? Oh, which of which? I have not done my daily check-in today. <sighs> I haven't been out in a while. So... Oh, so you don't use Google Chrome for nothing, but you have an email, so do your password recovery thing. If you remember the email that you use for your account...
So yeah, but only for Star Rail. That you remember your email or that you use Chrome to log in and whatnot. Okay, where's the other? There's got to be a way to not use necessarily that one. Can I get out of this? Apparently, there's no way to get out of this. How am I supposed to? How you on here some... Me being at 0% on my phone somehow. <laughs> well, you might be here for a second or two and then it'll go bye-bye. <clears throat> Either that or your battery's memory is confused. I don't know. I'll deal with it after the stream yet. Yeah, we can check my characters tomorrow. Yeah, I'm already long overdue to get off. I'm just... Ooh! Actually, I went up pretty high that time. How do I get to go up this high, though? There we go. Now I can climb it. Now where am I supposed to go? Since you sleep, we can play Gar Gartic Phone. <laughs> well, we would need Urza to be here and stuff to play that. So or Blast. I haven't seen Blast since forever. Terumi, that nap was way too long. Plus, you need a co-op friend. I think you should check Alexia's characters again. I can't, because she can't get into her account. Since you slept, we can get on Gartic phone. Okay, so that wasn't for me. That was for Terumi. So that's exactly what I said. Yeah, I'm like a night owl. She woke up. Last one to die wins. Oh, How am I still here? Can I go take a look? So I lost my 50-50 to Rumi. I lost it to Teneri. How did I get new mail again? Oh, it's Dia's birthday today. Okay. I've been on 0% for a whole three minutes. So now this area here is at 86%. There's got to be more treasures here, right? Where's that little island all the way over here? This is where, where I'm aiming for. I think I've already been there, though. Yeah, I've already been there. See all these little dots in the sky there? I already did a challenge for those. <clears throat> so at least I'm guaranteed for Rena now. And I had to go all the way to 80, 80 wishes. 80 some wishes to get the Nary. Not happy about it. Oh, what's this? Did I do these statues? Oh, yeah, this is up the path here, so I probably already did it, right? Can 
Can we do anything to these? Nope, can't do nothing to those. Yeah, of all the characters, like, I could have used a cookie. Oh, they even gave me a seventh Barbara. We were talking about that earlier. Was it yesterday or today? And I don't know how that works, but apparently they give you, like, five-star glitters. So that you can buy another wish. So they don't give you automatically a wish. It's just, like, we're not even going to bother telling you that you get an extra wish it goes into the star glitter you just see one denia and lucky you <clears throat> but yeah my young Faye is now c5 because i got two of her Got two Barbaras, I only needed one. And I also see six my um my Jinchu. Water boy is now C6. So that was, oh and I got a rain slasher, another one. I am happy I got another Favonia sword, but I also got a Favonius Greatsword. I really wanted a cookie and they did not give it to me. I don't know where I'm supposed to go with this. I don't see any chests here. Oh, is that a challenge? That is a challenge. So I'm uh, gonna go to sleep. Bye, Navia. Good night. Yeah, I'm gonna end my stream here too after I finish this challenge. And everybody says it's because I had Bennett on my team that I lost my to the 50-50. So maybe I should not have had Bennett on my team. What? Am I supposed to kill all of these things? Now what am I supposed to do with this? to go back to this thing maybe this thing can shoot me up in the air oh I scrapped this one didn't I oh what was that Okay, well, I'm definitely not going to be able to do this one. No, it's just luck, of which I have none. So, okay, we go here, then we use this to go up there, but that didn't work. Oh, 
How am I supposed to... That does not work. Am I supposed to get on the statue? Oh, there we go. Dang, I missed it again. to do it oh shoot okay all right where's the star car why can I not grab it this time darn it oh now it appears thank you Come on, come on, come on, make it! Okay. Ooh, I am gonna make it this time. Okay. got it done well okay folks guess what <laughs> I'm gonna call it a night thank you so much for watching I am so happy that I got Ternary to see one Good night, everybody. Or not. Okay, bye. I've been uh, W Canada Bro 100%. Win Canada. Hey, happy birthday, oh, wow. Danae. That's rough. Just see one. By the way, my phone died. So I'm gonna go to sleep. Bye. Now it's just luck. Good night.